Hello to this modeling tutorial for TrueSpace 6.6. .6. My name is Designable, and this tutorial is a request answer from Hakim. And he wants to know how I have modeled this plug, this power plug, including the cable here, uh, on this image here from my website. Um, the modeling himself is quite easy. All you need is a good reverence image, maybe like this, what I found in the net. And you see uh, that the main body of this uh, power plug here is a cylindric shape fl uh, with flattened sides here. So let's open True Space and we start with a simple cube. And again, a right click on this icon gives us the parameters of the object. So let's increase the sides to maybe 24 and we don't need uh, vertices on the cap so let's decrease this to zero and that's all what we need uh, right click anywhere into the scene and we now center our object to zero 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 make it a bit bigger here and now we rotate it 90 degrees so the easiest way to do that is go onto this little widget here. Uh, go to the side that you want to rotate, in my case this side here. With the right mouse button click and drag. And here we go, the body is rotated 90 degrees. Okay, so this should be our main body. Make it a bit bigger, let's say. 2.5, oh, too much, yeah, a bit too much, okay, 2 in length and 3 in diameter, okay, so that's the body, let's take a look to the reverence image, and we now want to create these sides here, to do this we need another cube, and we go to the top view, and bring in into position, <coughs> let's say in y2 and in x 0 0.25 so let's go to this view and make it a bit bigger so we uh, maybe this is too much I think 2.1 yeah this is okay and we need another one so we copy that just simple click on the copy icon and give him a negative y. Let's go back to 3D view and let's check this out. Okay, so what we now do is we subtract both of these cubes from this uh, cylinder object here. To do that we select the cylinder object and go to object subtraction. Click it with the left mouse button and click on the one and the second cube. So we now have, uh, let's go to this view mode and we see we have now the main body part. So what we now want to create is this little thingy here. We have the same on the other side. To do this we create us another cube, make it a bit smaller maybe like this, let's say in x 0 0.3 and in z also oh, but I think this is better to take a bit more here 0 0.5 maybe okay, we zero that out okie doke give us a top view and bring it to the front and the diameter here is 3 so let's increase the y in to 3 the y value let's go back to 3d view to check this yeah, looks good maybe a bit too much we could use we could also use 2.9 or 2.8 we don't have to be exactly so 
now we go the opposite direction we don't subtract the object from this we add this object so we click with the left mouse button and hold and we use object union uh, which object we have selected is not important we click the other object and now we have added both objects to one so back to this view mode here gives us this object okay back to our reverence image and we now want to create the back side of the plug okay to do this we click with the right mouse button onto the object so we got the edit mode and now we select this face here if we have problems to select this face we could also use uh, the point edit faces selection mode yeah. select the face simply by clicking and now we use the sweep tool with one click we sweep it out and maybe a bit more go to one of the edges here to get this little icon here which looks a little bit like an anchor but uh, in truth there are three arrows and this indicates if we now click with both mouse buttons and hold and now we drag we move in all directions together and that's what we want in this case so make it a bit smaller here now we go to any side view so we always have selected this face here we click again on sweep oh, maybe a bit more out and again one so oh, another one so we now put them in here and a bit more diameter here so let's looks cool in my eyes uh, maybe a bit too much but not a problem back to the side view click again with the right mouse button now choose the rectangle selection tool here and select all these faces here make it a bit bigger maybe now the same here I always click on the edge here and with both mouse buttons I um, control the diameter in all directions here so let's say this should be our plug it's fine enough it's just a quick and rough model here so okie doke um, let's create these th both uh, plugs here uh, for this I use a cylinder object here maybe the standard version with also 24 sides or faces so make it smaller but higher let's say 0 25 0 25 and oh that's too much 2 no that's I said 2 okay much better okie doke uh, now we select the top face here sweep it out whoops and make it a bit smaller sweep it out again make it smaller it's always the same thing that we uh, that I do here okie doke that's good enough okay we also turn this 90 degrees and give us a top view and we bring it into position maybe here 0 6.5 and in X let's say 1.2 and in Z we have to use 0 so let's go into a side view good enough we also copied that object and give him the negative values here okay rough but good okay should be a bit bigger I think maybe like 
points nearly 0 0.4 in x and this also 0 0.4 so for now a bit more inside it's 0 0.65 and this also 0 0.65 okay that's good enough so okay the last step the last step is to give this plug a cable that's also quite easy for this I go back to the top view and <coughs> well I could uh, create the cable also by sweeping out um, this model here but I prefer uh, for this cable um, um, a NURBS uh, primitive because uh, it's easier to uh, adjust it the cable later if I want to use it in a in an image like this or maybe in an animation okay so for this I create the NURBS uh, curve so we go here to the add curve tool and we start here with a left click the next left click here and maybe here, 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 or here and create a, a little NURBS curve okay the next thing that we need is a circle because the curve is uh, the line from the cable and we now need the, the body of the cable and the body of the cable is shaped by a circle so with a left click and drag I create a circle here and now I let uh, this circle select it and go here to the left surface tool and click onto the other curve and you can see now we have this circle and this circle follows the curve if I now adjust the diameter of this circle you can see you can change the diameter of the cable so you can increase it or decrease it so with the right click the circle disappears and we now have our cable if we now want to adjust the, the curve no problem at all we can right click the object we get back our circle we can now readjust here and another click on this curve with the left mouse button selects the curve himself and a right click gives us here these yellow buttons and these yellow uh, or, the, or points and these yellow points are indicates where we can adjust th the curve and uh, the curve adjusts the cable so we can now tweak out the shape and the the form of the cable himself maybe we can also do this in 3D so grab them and move them a little bit around and maybe from a side view we can adjust where it goes up and down and so on maybe here a bit up ok dope, good enough right click, right click and here we go again 3D view so this is our black and our cable and what we now need is a good texturing the texturing um, I have not textured directly this image here or the plug himself it's just a simple color and shader in this case it was um, a simple gray color with uh, a matte shader and I put this on the cable and also on the plug object F and for these both uh, metal thingies here I used the aluminium shader from the library so if this was too fast with a left click here on material library you can open the library 
and with a click on this yellow folder here you open the libraries that you get that you have and metals 3 is loaded in this moment and this is a, a standard true space library and here you found aluminium select it with a mouse left mouse click and here we go both two clicks and we can now render out our plug and that's all I hope you enjoy this little tutorial here and would be cool, cool to see you the next time and uh, sorry for my bad English but I'm from German not so easy for me but I hope you understand and could follow uh, my tutorial see you bye